Yo, Audibit, the, the Shuffler has been drinking indeed. I mean, I have three of those in the deck, so having two in the starting end is not unheard of. But hey, you know. Ah. Hydration cam activated. <laughs> What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Max Malone. Happy freaking Sunday. I hope you're doing well. I know I am because we just had a beautiful life. Well, it will have happened after you've seen this, and it will happen after I'm done with this. But I know with all the cool people that have been there every single day when I'm streamed, I know it will be cool. Also, we're still on our way to 30 freaking thousand. So if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, become part of the Maloniacs. I would appreciate it. Also very freaking much. But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the hall of justice. Justice, justice. Hammering. We're playing Super Friends. Because there is Tomic, wielder of law. And this creature is super cool. Super darn cool. Um, he has affinity for planeswalkers. That means you pay one generic mana less for every planeswalker that you own. That means, you know, you can on turn 5 play like a 3 mana planeswalker and a Tomic. So that is very darn good, because now you also have another blocker. And whenever an opponent uh, attacks with creatures, if two or more of those creatures are attacking you and or a planeswalker, so you and or planeswalkers, you control, that opponent loses three life and you draw a card, which is pretty darn good. Drawing a card, always very, very darn freaking good. Well, you know, if you're up against a meta full of creature decks, that is something that you absolutely freaking want. And what are the planeswalkers that we're playing? Yes. The answer is yes. A simple, resounding yes. We're playing all the Planeswalkers. Ah, uh, all the good Planeswalkers. We have Kaito for the card draw and the blocking. We have the Wandering Emperor three times to mill, uh, to mill, to uh, exile something and to make a blocker. We have the Jace as a secret freaking win con, so we can mill someone. We have the Teferi for the life gain and the card selection, also life gain here. We have the Ashiok because the Nightmares are just absolutely amazing. And card selection, and maybe we win with the minus seven like we did yesterday. Then we have the Kaya. Because that is our real win con. Absolute frustration, stealing our opponent's stuff. It is absolutely freaking great. Vraska, two times, so we can proliferate all of our planeswalkers. And the eternal freaking wanderer. Now you might say Malone. It looks like the mana base is going to be hard for this one, and I agree. I mean, yes, we do have, like, you know, all the lands we can get in here, like, also the Rafine's Tower and all of that. You know, we also have the Restless Anchorage that I always call, like, Archipelago, and I don't know why. Two Takenuma, so we can return our Planeswalkers here, you know, all of that. Oh, we're playing three Ley Lines. We're playing three freaking Ley Lines, and uh, that is absolutely what we want to do. They, you know, just play a Ley Line, never have mana problems anymore. Like, yes, we could not draw enough mana, but we're running 25 or 26 lands, so it's absolutely okay. I'm alright with this. So, uh, yeah, with this, we can make certain that whatever we want to play, we can freaking play it. Because, you know, we have like a lot of cards that have like double pips, like this one has double white, this one has double black, this has double white, this has double white, you know? So, it might get dangerous. This is we have double white and double black. So, you know, it can be hard sometimes. But if you have the ley line, everything is all the colors. And that is just absolutely amazing. We have the Celestis for mana fixing and for acceleration. And uh, yeah, all of these board wipes that I already talked about. There is no single target removal. If somebody plays a Planeswalker, we just have to hope that our army of Planeswalker beats theirs. And, um, you know, that's it. Otherwise, we just wipe the board. We have temporary lockdown supports. We have Path of Peril supports. In the late game, it's also like, you know, answer to everything. We have the Sunfall, so that we also get a creature that we can attack in. Uh, we have the White Sun's Twilight, because it gives us life, plus it makes us mites. And we have the Eternal Wonder, and it also works as a board wipe. So what do you even want from me? What do you want from me? And that is all about there is to say about the deck. It is crazy. Trust me, it is a crazy deck. If you like crazy Planeswalker, like Super Friends kind of decks, this is the deck for you, my friends. If you say, ah, nah, I, I want to win with Boros, go ahead, do that. Uh, nobody can blame you. It is a pretty strong deck. I tried in best of three. I went second. Three games, and I still won them all. So yeah, I totally freaking understand people doing that. So thank you so very freaking much for everybody that has been supporting the live stream. Also, what's with this shirt? Like, it's so loosey-goosey around my neck. Uh, send anger around my neck. So yeah, I'm sorry, I, I got sidetracked here. 
and it's Sunday after all, so my mind is already somewhere else in the live stream it should be, but it's it's somewhere else, trust me. So thank you all so very freaking much. This is the Hall of Justice. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in those super friendly games. Alright, 16 planeswalkers and a dream. Yo, what Tom, what Tom, how you doing, my friend? We're up, oh my lord, Krimus. Yes, Krimus. And I mean, let's keep this, because why the freaking heck not? There must be a reason for this. There must be some reason for this, you know? There always is a reason. Yo, Autobit, the, the shuffler has been drinking indeed. I mean, I have three of those in the deck, so having two in the starting end is not unheard of. But hey, you know... Hydration cam activated. Submit both of them, yes. There's literally no reason for it. Oh, look, it's mono red. At least we're going first, am I right? I know I am. That is pretty good, though. I like that. The coffin is scam. Taking in for one ear. All right. Let's just wipe that board. Then we bring in Tomic. Blast zone. What? Oh no, for a damage. Whatever will I do? Freaking blast zone. Are you for real? Here's DJ Tomic now. Then we will have the Jace. And Jace, as you all know, is the place. Okay, I mean, that was an investment if I've ever seen one. Um, let's do this first and draw a card. See if we can draw another land. For the sake of Phyrexia, I will Those were very good mills. We couldn't find another land, but that is fine because we have to ferry now. So yeah, go ahead, use all your burn for whatever, but not for my face. There you go. There you go. You know, that is already how much. Seven burn we didn't take to the face. Choice. I like that. I really freaking love it, to be honest. But keep it on top. All right. What else are you doing, though? It's just a blast zone, right? It's just a blast zone holding priority. That is super good. Two, four, six. If we can survive for one turn, Kaya will absolutely turn this game around. Abso-freaking-lutely. Zero artifacts, zero creatures, and untapping the Ottawara because all of our lands are all of our lands anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Does not really freaking matter, so go ahead, do your darn this here, my friend. Little mono red dude. Oh no, not the fugitive code breaker. Whatever will I do? Do you think their last card is a lightning strike? Do you think it is? Sure, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Adding a black here. Submit. Submit. Adding you here. Here is Kaya! Good luck getting rid of Kaya, my friend! Good luck with that! We're back to 18 life! Oh! Oh! And apart from Planeswalker and some two ley lines here, we didn't even find too much. Oh no, please, not the Kumano! Not the Kumano. Yo, what's up, my friend? I sadly cannot read your name, but I will try my best one of these days. Yo, that is so funny. You really think you can change the world, but you can't. You can't. You won't change a thing. Oh, my lord, this is even better. Is it, though? No, because I don't, you know. don't have the answer here. So let's do this. It will take care of almost all of their board here, which is pretty darn good. If I had one more mana, I would have done it. But for four, it just gives me four life and four mites that then die to the temporary lockdown. So mono red. So mono red. Look me in the eyeball. Look me in the eyeball. And tell me that you're having fun here. Please, do that. Um, let's draw two cards. There's literally no reason not to do it. I don't move Wandering Emperor is amazing here. 
Literally freaking amazing. Okay, all right. Looks like we're beating Mono Red. With two ley lines and a dream. Two freaking ley lines and a dream. Everything is golden. Everything we have is golden. Because we are the guild pact. So what you got here for me, my friend? Another one of those? Okay. I mean, that's pretty fine with me, you know? Oh no, they're attacking my Kaya. Whatever will I do? <laughs> Poor Mono Red. Who are you talking, man? What are you even saying? Poor Mono Red? I don't think so. Honestly, I think they deserve every single thing about it. Every single thing about this Mono Red. They deserve it. They freaking deserve it. Oh look, it's a golden samurai. I like that. Can I take care of enchantments? I can take care of enchantments. So if I do this, I still have one, two, three, four, five mana left. Well, I don't need to destroy creatures anymore. Let's do it for four. Auto pay. Now they think that the case is solved. But I'm telling you one thing. It is not. That is right, my friend! That is right! I'm stealing everything! Your sanity, your life, your soul, everything is mine! I will crush you, man, and your dreams, and your hopes of ever achieving anything, Mono Red. But you are nothing but a victim to my lone get out of here! All right, we're up against Karn. Oh my lord, Krimus! Yes, Krimus! Uh, we don't have a um, freaking what's her face ley line, but I think that is all right. We do have to ferry with the Celestis, which is already a very, very good combination of things to have. So, they will be self milling, so we can uh, go ahead and play Jace later on. You're all in for party? Well, I mean, I okay, they are self milling. Beautiful, I like that. I really love it, to be honest. There's the Celestis now. I mean, we do have the Sunfall, so if they, like, make themselves a bajillion little roots, that is kind of fine with me. This only cares about creatures, right? Yeah, it does only care about creatures. Yo! Boop, boop, boop! Thank you so much for giving us up! Like, just freaking holy hanging out here doing all of the gifted subs. Thank you so much for giving subs out to uh, my mods. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, you, you get tapped. You get untapped. Does it even really matter here? You know what? Let's just be a little bit mana efficient here. Seems good. Seems pretty good. So how's everybody doing? I hope your Saturday is nice. And if you're watching on YouTube, I hope your Sunday is nice. So we're looking pretty good here right now. With our freaking Planeswalkers, Super Friends, Control from Heal. Tyvar, alright. Kind of annoying, but not the end of the world annoying. Okay, alright. I'm still kind of fine with that, you know? We'll just sunfall them, and then what? And then what? And then what? Like, literally, and then what? Yeah, that is all not good enough, my friend. <laughs> good, hot, laying a bit. Hot? Where are you? Where, where are you that it is hot? Where freaking are you that it is hot? I need to know. Asking for a friend. Alright, let's freaking sunfall them now. Like, there's literally no reason. Why did you not use my... Oh, my lord, game. Oh, my lord, game. Let's draw here. I mean, what are they even supposed to do? We can improve upon your ideas. What are they even supposed to do? 
I wish the game wouldn't have used my uh, freaking uh, would have used my Celestis here. Australia? Okay, yeah, that that sounds like it could be hot. That sounds like it could be hot. I mean, go ahead, try to use your restless cottage, my friend. Try to use it. You ain't gonna succeed. Thing is that I still have the Path of Peril here, and I'm not afraid to use it. 10 p.m. 60, 26 degrees. I was about to say 62 degrees, but that is just stupid. <laughs> I know math. I have the best math. All right. Uh, yeah, 26 degrees is pretty hot for, like, in freaking March, you know? Yeah, I don't really care about that too much. Maybe I should have gotten rid of something else here, but that is, like, just my, my freaking opinion. I can still tap that if I want to, so, yeah. Alright. All of that doesn't concern me as much as you think it does. It really freaking doesn't. So, um... And I just have to do this before, right? Limit zero, creature, land. Okay. Now oh, here's Braska. Do the Lord's work. You get in here. Beautiful. Uh, you do this now. Because why the freaking heck not? So they can attack him for maybe two or three. So they cannot even get rid of any of my planeswalkers here. So we're super good. We're super good. 33 freaking degrees. Like, is that, that Celsius, right? <laughs> Just arrived in Lille. Yo, tour bus? Sounds pretty tasty, man. So they don't like my Teferi here because it will ultimate soon. Understandable. Absolutely understandable. Okay, alright. No worries here. Rafine's tower is pretty good. Let us uh, just attack in here. <coughs> If this minus three becomes untap you tap you untap you I've got some time to is Kaya better here I think she is I think that Kaya is just better here I mean slowly but surely we will just drain them of everything they have you know oh Apart if I can know they, they just draw Tiver off the top. That is that is good. That is good. Alright, but what are they doing though? I still have this, you know. Yo, Spawn! Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. By the way, Spawn, amazing freaking comic book. One of my favorites. Not even lying. Yo, disco music! Thank you so much for the follow. I mean, all of these are two costs, you know, so yeah, that Path of Peril looks pretty good right now. <laughs> Path of Peril does look... Yo, that is your third one! They did not draw a single... I'm, I'm not even... I'm not even acknowledging that. I'm not even freaking acknowledging that. This deck is absolutely disgusting and I love it myself. So, uh, Path of Peril coming down here. Um... Attacking Tyvar. Now we untap a creature, untap a land. Seems pretty good. Making them lose three more life. I mean, they tried, you know. They tried. There was an effort. <laughs> there was an effort. <laughs> 
But that is kind of it. There was an effort. That, that is it. So, yeah, I mean, we got him pretty good. We got him pretty good. Not gonna lie. We, we just got him pretty darn freaking good. Get out of here. We're up against Exalion, not Ashiok. Opponent is going first. I kind of do like our hand here, though. Let's keep it. Okay. Power of Mono Black is here. What you got here, though? Show me what you got. Enchantment or Planeswalker? Like, everything we have is Planeswalkers. <laughs> Yo, Daniel, how you doing? Like, what is this very specific card here? What is this very, very specific card here? That is, I feel kind of targeted, you know? Kind of do. <laughs> not, not lying. <laughs> not even lying. <laughs> Alright. Braxton Arena is kind of fine. I can live with that. Bring in the Celestis now. My coffee is empty. Classic? What do you mean by classic? Ooh, that was a pretty good card to have here. Let's bring in Kaito. Oh, they have uh, either it's just a Mirex here, or they do have a um, what's her face? It's like your a Shadow Seeding. But you know, being able to do this also is pretty darn good. Yo, Todd McFarlane, absolute beast. Absolute freaking beast. Okay, they're going for this. That is fine with me. What else, though? Okay, I don't think that they have, like, you know, spot removal. So that is kind of fine. Am I drawing here? Yes, I mean, what's the worst we could draw? Ooh. Screw Tomic. Screw Tomic. I want Kaya. One, two, three, four, five, six... A five. We're on five here. Did we throw away a land? Double for X in arena? That is pretty good. Oh, that is what you mean. I do not, because I don't have the cards. <laughs> I do not. Uh, White Sun's Twilight can go here. I'm passing the turn. So here comes Shadow's Edict. Yes, that is kind of what I expected. They're still kind of fine. Screw the board wipe for it now. Teferi is pretty good. Teferi is pretty darn good here. Like, Spawn was, like, such an amazing book. Just such an amazing freaking book. I really, really loved it. Well, in that I'm case, let's get rid of the fairy. They threw away a freaking uh, go for the throat. So maybe, maybe we're a little bit lucky. Maybe we're a little bit lucky. Lo playing Super Friends, yes! I realized that there's 37 planeswalkers in the set, like in standard right now. And I had to know. I just had to know. The guild pact is not really good here. But at least I have something to throw away, you know? Now you've got my attention. All right. Pretty good, isn't it? One, two. Getting another white source here. I mean, that is indeed pretty darn good. Let's get a Foraxian Arena for ourselves. <laughs> I mean, I like that. Yo, Jim Lee is my absolute favorite artist. Like, Jim Lee. Absolute one of the best. One of the freaking best. 
You opened three on the Dominaria, you didn't find a Shelly. That is indeed pretty upsetting. Like, I don't even know, you know? I don't even know. Yo, do you win? Do you even fly? Uh, welcome. Alright, they got rid of that. How much does this cost three, right? Yeah, we can get rid of the other one as well soon. So that is not really a problem. What are they getting rid of, though? Nothing? Wait, what? You just want to see my deck. It's what you deserve. You just want to see my deck. Let's do this now. Put a counter here. They have a cut down in hand. Okay, we know that much. They do have a freaking cut down in hand. <clears throat> but I mean, if we do this or not, doesn't even really matter, you know, because they will, um. Uh, we'll just, uh, you know, destroy, like, uh, discard and something, anyways. Something went wrong. A team of highly trained monkeys has been dispatched. Deal with the situation. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> What did the monkeys ever do? Yo, Alpha, buenos dias to you as well, my friend. All right. Still kind of fine, you know. Let's get another Phyrexian Arena here. I like that. One here. One here. It's no fun when they hit back. Great another samurai. Let your blade do the talk. Let's see what we can draw here. Take action, yes. The sunfall is pretty nice. But I'm actually not even sure if we need it, you know? Wait, what? Well, it's better than a path of peril. Why did they do this during their what? <laughs> Kusa was so expensive that bot exploded that, that it might be. They stole my land. They stole my land. The fairy, alright. Okay. So we will draw here with this, which is pretty darn tasty. <laughs> Stupid for X in Arena, man. <laughs> All right, do we win here, though? Yeah, I mean, hey, I mean, hey, try to defeat the master of mono black with mono black, you know? Ain't gonna happen, my friend. Ain't gonna happen. You can come into my house, knock on my door, and kick in the walls. And my dogs will be waiting and biting, gnawing on your legs like we're nothing but a piece of ham, my friend. And that is the fruit of the day. The ham. We're up against Spork Core. Weird name, but I'll take it. <gasps> Rimmers! Yes, Krimmers! But the hand is unkeepable. I agree. I agree. Thanks, Evil Malone. Thank you. Alright, let's mulligan here. I mean, at least we have this, you know. Let's get rid of the fairy, sadly. As long as we do find one land, you know. As long as we do find one land, we can play the Celestis. Hello? Hello, friendly waver of the hand. There is the land I was hoping for. There is the land. The ley line, just to have all the mana. And because it is cool, you know. I think this is a temporary lockdown if I've ever seen one. Locking them down temporarily. Yo, Calderax, how you doing? War leader's call. Slightly annoying, but not the end of the world annoying. Bring in the Celestis here now. Celestis, pretty good. The Evangelist, okay. Sunfall would be pretty tasty here. Yo, for real? You piece of trash. You piece of trash. All right, let us see what they have in their hand. Okay. 
whatever. <laughs> Literally whatever. Sometimes I just don't understand. What are people even doing? Gleeful demolitioning my freaking... Oh, that was so evil. So freaking evil. Why are you doing that in, like during your turn? Spork core. Why? Why? Oh, they have the Knight Errand of Eos. I mean, you know, you can do whatever you want against this deck. Whatever you freaking want. They will just out of nowhere win the game forever, you know? That is just what they're doing. We can't even manage. We can't even manage to get a single board wipe here. That is madness. Let's make some blockers, shall we? I'm never done for good. Keep watch for intruders. You know? I would have liked to find one of my 25 board wipes here. Yeah, them getting rid of my freaking thing was pretty good for them, wasn't it? Alright. Okay. I don't think they have an answer for this. Are we taking seven here? I don't think we are. So we could find a board wipe here. That would be pretty tasty, you know? What? Are you talking to me, South Caro? Alright! Seems like you want to get banned. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright, do you think they have another Knight Errand of Eos? They do. Look at them. Yo, that is crazy. Absolutely crazy, man. Uh, what are you even supposed to do against something like that? You know what I mean? It's just absolutely impossible. Well, maybe you do this. <laughs> maybe you do this. Yo, Harry Houdini, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Maybe you just do this. You're still getting in there for a lot, you know? You're still getting in there for a lot. That's just madness. That is just madness. Now watch him have another resolute reinforcements. Uh, not resolute. Uh, gleeful demolition here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That is just whack, y'all. That is just whack, y'all. That is three of them. Off the top, you know? Three of them. Yeah, that is just madness. Now I regret my decision. Well, everybody would have done the same in this situation. I mean, all they need is two creatures, you know? <laughs> Wear a blindfold? Why? <laughs> all they need here is two creatures. Jeez Louise, man. Well, I mean, hey, at least we can block this, you know? Oh, wait, what? Oh, screw you, game. Screw you, game. Like... It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. How whatever you do, how whatever you do, you don't have a chance against this deck. Because out of nowhere, they will have three Gleeful Demolitions, they will have two Knight Errand of Eos just slamming down, you know. Hey, hey, what you gonna do about it? What you gonna do? We're up against Alfio Brando. Mm, all right, can we draw one land here? We have two draws to find a land, three draws to find a land. Let's try. Let us freaking try. Well, mission accomplished. Yo, like, yeah, the MKM Kaya is okay. Oh, they're the CGB deck. They're just the CGB deck. Okay, all right. Your Brass Forge sucks very hard. Very freaking hard, even. We don't really have an answer to that. I don't want to be that guy, but I think we're dead, so... <laughs> I think we're dead, so... <laughs> very dead, so very soon. So we don't have an answer to the forge. 
We don't have an answer to that. Yo, look at this. Look at this. Come on, give me a land here, game. Hey, it's my turn three, man. What did I ever do to deserve this? I think we're dead, though. Like, there's no way we don't lose here. No freaking way. We don't freaking lose here. They have a lightning strike and we're just done. Or they just throw this in my face and we're done. That was a pretty good start from our opponent, you know. A very darn freaking good start. Not even lying about that. Well done in Epicurio, okay. Alright. This is a three cost. It doesn't help me at all. Ending the turn here. At least we have the life gain. That is already very good. But we don't really have an answer to the Eurobrass Forge, so I'm very sad about that. Is a Wandering Emperor up for you now? You think they have another fanatical offering here? They might, right? They just might, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Literally what I thought. But hey. But hey. Yo, come on, man. Where was my standing a chance in this game? <laughs> Where was my standing a chance in this game? That was madness. Get out of here. That game was just absolute madness. Never stood a freaking chance. <gasps> Crimus! Yes, Crimus! Hannah's kind of meh. This hand is way better. And get rid of one Wandering Emperor here. That game was crazy, man. <laughs> that game was absolutely crazy. Blue? Why? Why do you slap? That game was madness. But you know, you can't win them all. Like, there will always be like one or two decks that just like counter you very well. And that was one of them. Alright, here's the Celestis for your troubles. I hope we find something other than land, like, you know, five lands in the first eight is pretty brutal. Um... We don't need you. Bring in Jace. <gasps> I cannot pay Jace. Let's not bring in Jace. Just pass the turn here. And see where we're going with this. I do have the Wandering Emperor, so I could just slam her down. Are you looking at my Celestis? Stop looking at another man's Celestis. We don't do that kind of stuff here. We really, really don't. Yo, thank you all so very much for 100 people on Twitch. That is crazy to me. Y'all are crazy. So, Jade. What you doing here? Let's bring in the Wandering Emperor now. And uh, just make a token, because why not? So they have a removal for one of them. Do I really care? No. There is another land here now. Make another token. And just slam in. Um. So I haven't played anything this turn. So looking at two cards is actually pretty good. So let's do that. It is better than just playing the Jace here. Jace is kind of our secret win con. So yeah. Kaya. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can play Kaya next turn. That is pretty good. Kaya early on is always like backbreaking. Always absolutely backbreaking. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of the Field of Ruin here. It's a pretty good way to uh, stay in shape. After this game, I have to get myself another coffee. And maybe like a banana or something like that. So, what you got here, Mr. Jade? Okay, alright. If that is all you're doing, I'm fine with that. Up to three target cards from a graveyard. It's not the best, but also not the worst. We're just bringing in Kaya now. 
Uh, if they don't have like a Shattered Edict, they're just absolutely super screwed here. Yo, this is my all the Planeswalkers that are actually good in one deck deck. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> that is what it is. So one, two, three, four, five, six. They can do this again, but then what, you know? What are you doing here? You're getting yourself more caves? Sure freaking looks like it. Yup. Yo, what? Yo, what? <laughs> what? Are you for real? Are you for freaking real? What the heck was that? Well, that was madness, if I've ever seen madness. Wait, what? Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, I mean that was kind of shameful. <laughs> kind of shameful. <laughs> and here I thought I was smart, eh? Here I thought I was smart. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> And here I thought I was smart. I mean, you know, as long as you don't have another calamitous, cal calamit calamitous cave in. Like, English is so hard, man. So they have another one of those, which, you know, is questionable, but okay. Just play another Cosmium Confluence here. Otherwise, why would they have tapped the way they did? How much does it cost? Five. Yeah, I told you they had it. Literally just told you they had it. Okay. Caves confirmed OP. Caves confirmed OP. And we're still wiping the board here, so it's still alright. And then we have the Wandering Emperor for later, so that is also alright. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have exactly enough. We have exactly freaking enough. We're doing it for a six now. Because why the freaking heck not? If they want to wipe the board here, that is kind of fine with me, you know? But if they don't have like another calamit calamitous cave in, they're kind of screwed. They're kind of freaking screwed. Yo, come on, man. <laughs> come on, <laughs> Sky Turtle. The freaking sky turtle, like, what is even going on here? What is even freaking going on here, man? <laughs> the sky turtle. Are you for real? <laughs> okay, passing the turn here. Let us see if they have another sky turtle. I did not expect a sky turtle, not gonna lie. That was kind of unexpected. Kind of very, very unexpected. Okay, all right. Freaking Sky Turtle, man. <laughs> and here I was thinking they were play literally playing only lands, man. Like, literally only lands. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Sky Turtle. <laughs> I did really not expect that. Really did not expect that. Not even play Italian to Git Rock Monster. What is even going on here anymore? Is this real life? I mean, you're down to two cards, you know? So, it's not that bad. Um, I am taking three here. Because I can still, you know, survive for the longest freaking time. Vraska, though. Well, let's attack in first. See what we draw. Still scared of this, you know? This, yeah, this deals with planeswalkers.
This comes in tapped anyways. And the turn here. See what we can find. Now that is fine with me. Absolutely freaking fine with me. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We have all the colors anyways. So we will draw here now. I hope it is nothing super good. Nah, Sunfall is alright. I mean, you know... They have almost only caves anyway, so does it really matter? Nope. Nope, it don't. Jeez, Louise, this colossal sky turtle really got me good. <laughs> like, really, really good. <laughs> I enjoyed that a lot. It was very, very funny. Very, very funny. Does this all creatures? It is all creatures. Okay. Do you really? Have another one of these cards in your hand. Jesus freaking Christ, man. How many more? How many more do they actually have of this? That is madness. That is absolute freaking madness. Absolute freaking madness. So this is 13. I will be exiling one of them. Absolute freaking madness uh, this is a um all the good planeswalkers are in one so they have three of these you know that is kind of crazy to me so they have to second land here we're taking nine which is still fine with me i'm not even mad about that bringing in the wandering emperor Exiling your stupid Talion to get rock monster. I love the card, but it's stupid. Stupid nevertheless. Say goodbye to your Talia. I even have like a Talion to get rock monster landfall commander deck, so I won't be complaining about that. Does this also say non-land? No, just creature. Okay. So what you doing now, my friend? What are you doing now? Nothing. I like that. They have three mana left. That is not enough for a Calamitous Cave-In. Calamitous cave -in. Another one of those. Okay, alright. Why not? Let's get back a blocker for now. Thanks. I'll be taking that now. Let's make one more blocker here. Yes, you have that cave. Oh no, whatever will I do? So, maybe we even draw something worth our while here, you know? Another land. Okay. It is what it is. Nothing I can do about that, is there now? Have I played a land already? I haven't. Let's turn it daytime here. Is it another land? I wouldn't be surprised if it was. It's a Teferi. Teferi is pretty good here. Not gonna lie. Not gonna freaking lie. Okay. Yo, Adriana, how you doing, my friend? Malone with the with the e, the melon, <laughs> the good old melon man. That is me indeed. So let us, yo, come on, man, really? Just like that. Just like that, you know. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I mean, hey, what you gonna do about it? What you freaking gonna do about it? So they don't have two of these, but they have three of these plus the sky turtles. Absolute freaking madness. But they will be losing their own moss, so are they really doing it here, you know? I mean, I would just block. Like, there's literally no reason not to block here. Literally none so ever. Block in here, block in here. Then they wipe the board. Absolute freaking madness. But it's still fine, you know? We're still in the game somehow. <laughs> Just how many more of those do they have? How many freaking more of those do they have? That is mad. 
That is mad. Okay. We're still drawing lands like there is no tomorrow. I don't want another Celestus. I'd rather have another land, to be honest. My playing Teferi here would do nothing but bring us pain, so let's not. Let's not do that. Crazy, man. They're draws, you know. They're freaking draws. In the first 20 cards, two turtles, four of these moss. That is just madness. Modness is what it is. Absolute modness. But we're still kind of fine, you know. I mean, this is six damage. It's not like we're super dead very soon. Or are we? Well, we'll have to find out. Hmm. Ashi up pretty good here. Ashiok pretty darn good here. Don't worry. I face scary abilities. And some think time only flows in one. So we're drawing here still? Jace is pretty good, I guess. So they can't get rid of my Ashiok or of my Teferi. The choice is theirs. If they draw another Calamitous cave in, well, I mean, hey, what am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> what am I supposed to do about that? But we will see here. They just attack. Oh, they have another one. Look, they literally have another one. That is so crazy, man. Like, they drew one single card with their Talia and the Gitrock monster. One single card. And all the rest, they just had it. They just freaking had it. Isn't that beautiful? Like, otherwise, why would they have attacked in like this, you know? There's literally no reason. There you go. There you go. Crazy. Crazy. Absolutely crazy, man. Absolutely freaking bonkers. Okay... Let's do this now. How many cards are in here? 14. Absolutely freaking bonkers, man. So let us see what else. That's in the turn. That is just madness. Like literally freaking madness. But I think that if we can get rid of their stuff here soon, we're kind of okay. I mean, maybe they have four of these, you know, that, that it's alright, but it's just crazy how the Shuffler is messing with us here. Absolutely freaking crazy. Look at the Jace, the Jace is a maze. So, we will start drawing cards with the Jace though, which is pretty darn good. So they don't have another Calamitous Cave-In, that much I know. Go in there, and go in face. Because they're freaking greedy. Beautiful. The greed will be your downfall. Because I am starting to draw cards now, my friend. Alright! Another Maw gun! Another Maw! Out of here. Alright, we're still on 12, which is pretty good. Maybe they have like another get lost or whatever. I don't even want to know. Ooh, okay, all right. At a lockdown, we already established that we don't like that. <laughs> we already established that we don't like that. Kaya pretty darn good here. Kaya just pretty darn good here. Yo, thank you very much! And thanks for tuning in. I want to keep this for now, you never know. I think they don't have four Sky Turtles, you know? I just don't think they do. 
And if they do A, so be it. I do have another J, so it's still alright. It is still A okay with me. So, Jade, 20 minutes of madness. How oh, they do have it? Alright. We're doing this now. Getting ourselves the blocker. Doing this now. Now let's draw a card. We find another Jace is pretty much GG very soon. And we don't need the guild pact anymore. Field of ruin though. Field of freaking ruin though. So screw you and your stupid mom. I don't think you have basic lands, my friend. I just don't think you do. And we still have this to return whatever we want to our hand. And I think it's going to be Kaya because Kaya will be winning this game. Pretty good if you ask me. Pretty darn good if you ask me. So, they now have a, um, what? A juke? Yeah, okay, Shigeki for a two. That is fine. One, two, three, four, five. This deals five. So my Kaya even survives this. Ending the turn. Drawing another card. Uh, let's get rid of this land. You never know. You never know. Sunfall might still be coming in important. So, like, once more 20 minutes of madness here against the freaking Moss. But they don't have basics. They only have, like, this, you know. Oh, they have, like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Wait. Oh, plus the number of caves in your graveyard? That's crazy. Get back Kaya here. That is absolutely crazy, man. But I would put him in a situation where they have to do something, you know? Uh, how much do we have? 7, 10, 11. So we can do this for 9. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty darn good. So let's do it for 9. The leg deck is fun! Absolutely! <clears throat> Absolute fun! So, we have 17 cards left, however that happened. But if they don't like Calamitous Cave in here straight up, they might just lose the game. And that is just what it is. That is just what it is. And then we have more threats, like another Ashiok, for example, you know? Yo, Vein Ripper went insanely crazy. Just insanely freaking crazy. So, my friend, with your little caves and whatever. Oh, they found another one of those. Oh no, okay. What is this for? What, what are you doing here? How much does the turtle cost to return something? Two. Bring it in Kaya now. I'm just draining you some more. I'm not bringing in Ashiok though. That would just be madness. Ending the turn. If they have another one of those, we're just screwed. So yeah. I don't want to do that. So we have been fighting this battle for 23 minutes already. Can you believe this? Against all... Like, all lands. How can lands be this strong? <laughs> like, what, what is this madness? <laughs> what even is this madness? It's lands. It's not like we're playing up against, like, I don't know, the best creature-based deck ever. It's just lands. And five Calamitous Cave-Ins now. Like, they play two, they return two. No, six! Six! And still... Yeah, like, you can do nothing without lands. That's right. It's the strongest card in the game. Like, you can have the best card in your hand if you don't have lands. It doesn't do anything. Oh, look. Oh, look. Isn't that something? They found another one. That is how many of those now? Four? Yeah, all four of them. 
All freaking four of them. Chefskis Delicioso. I do have the Sunfall, though, so I'm not afraid to use it. They have one card left. Like, what could that card even be, you know? What could that one card even freaking be? Bring it in Kaito or Ashiok. I think it's Ashiok, because that might be just a win, you know? Because we exiled something, so creating these little nightmares is pretty darn good. And then with the uh, Celestis, we can discard a temporary lockdown and hope that we find our other Jace. Like, Jace would once more be pretty much GG, I guess. Ending the turn, drawing a card with the Celestis. We have 14 cards left, which is fine. They will never mill us. This is just absolute madness. <laughs> I can only repeat myself. <laughs> so many non-decisions. So, do you have another one of those? Do you have it? Or do you not? I still have a blocker here, so I'm not that scared, you know? Let's give him a little uh, slappity slap here. Yo, for reals. For reals. You just drew another turtle. Okay, you do that, my friend. You go ahead and draw another turtle. Just go ahead, draw another turtle. Why the freaking heck not? It's absolutely fine. No worries whatsoever. Okay. Alright. Let us see what we draw here. The Path of Peril. Not really what I was hoping for, but hey. We have, what, 12 cards left? Yo! Greetings back to Costa Rica. Thanks for tuning in, my friend. Yes, I would like to draw a card. Thank you very much. Another land! Like what? How many lands do we even have left? Well, it doesn't really matter. Does it now? Like, what are they even going to do here? Spelunking. <laughs> Spelunking, okay. Spelunk away, my friend. Spelunk away, my friend. Yeah, like, it's lands versus lands. It's just what it's supposed to be. Alright, attacking in here like this. Drawing a card. How many Path of Perils do we have to draw here? How many? <laughs> How many? <laughs> Jeez Louise. Take action, yes please. The Eternal Wanderer though. Make another Samurai. So if they don't find exactly another Calamitous Cave-In, we're looking pretty tasty here, aren't we? Yo, Lothair, ça va bien, mon ami? J'espère que tu vas bien. What do we even have left? Tomic. Do we have... We still have one Takenuma. I'm hoping for a Takenuma so that I can return my Kai and just win the game. That would be pretty good. Yeah, I am still in this match. You were taking a shower. This has been 28 minutes. Of playing against Lance. <laughs> Just what is going on here? What was this? The Bat Colony? Yeah, that's pretty bad, isn't it? Let's give another one of those because they deserve it. They freaking deserve it. One game YouTube video indeed. Like, <laughs> like what even is this? <laughs> what even is this? You get out of here, my friend. You get literally freaking out of here, man. What a game. What a game. I need to go to bed now. I need to rest. I need to, like, have some shot eye after this game. <laughs> what even was that? Get out of here, caveman. So, yeah, as I said, it is a fun deck. It is not the strongest beat them all, you will never lose again kind of deck, but I had a lot of fun with it. I must admit. We had a crazy freaking game against Caves. Yo, what was that game? Madness? Yes. Absolute freaking madness is what it was. And, uh, but you know, that is absolutely fine. And we still beat them. We still freaking beat them. 
we were super persistent. That is all that is there to say, you know, just be persistent, win the games, and you will never have trouble ever again. Just don't lose to Boros. <laughs> don't lose to Boros. I mean, we also beat Aggro, so you know, it's a win, 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 lose, win, lose, lose, lose. So uh, it's whatever you say, whatever you want to say. I had a lot of fun, and that is all that matters. A lot of content creators would never take a deck like this into ranked, but you know your boy Malone. He's crazy up there. He talks about himself in the third person. Like, what is even wrong with him, you know? And yeah, that is uh, all I have to say. If you are still here, if you are still here, please, please put a little Malone betrayal thing down below in the comments. I would appreciate it also very freaking much. And remember, my friend, that if you are waking up tomorrow morning or in the evening or whenever you wake up, eh, it's not about me, you know, that you can wake up whenever you want. But if you wake up and you see that beautiful, Beautiful face of yours in the mirror. That all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs>